Show me some love. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Eighth grade, unit four, lesson two. Keeping the equation balanced. Learning targets. I can add or remove blocks from a hanger and keep the hanger balanced. I can represent balanced hangers with equations. Problem number one, which of the changes would keep the hanger in balance? Select all that apply. A. Adding two circles on the left and a square on the right. To make this easier, let's give these shapes imaginary values. Let's pretend that the triangles are worth 5, the circles are worth 1, and the squares are worth 2. If we add a square to the right and two circles on the left, we'd be adding the same amount to both sides. We'd be adding 2 to the right and 2 to the left. This would remain in balance because each side would total 9. The answer for A is balanced. B. Adding two triangles to each side. If we added two triangles to each side, we'd be adding the exact same amount on each side. Two triangles would be worth a total of 10, so we'd be adding 10 to the right and 10 to the left. The left side totals 17, and the right side totals 17. So this hanger would also be balanced. C. Adding two circles on the right and a square on the left. If we added two circles on the right, that would be like adding two. And if we added a square on the left, that would also be adding two. So we'd be adding two to both sides. The left side totals nine and the right side totals nine. So this hanger would also be balanced. D. Adding a circle on the left and a square on the right. Adding a circle on the left would be like adding one, and adding a square on the right would be like adding two. So the total would be eight on the left and nine on the right. Nine is greater than eight, so this hanger is not balanced. E. Adding a triangle on the left and a square on the right. Adding a triangle to the left would be like adding five, and adding a square on the right would be like adding 2. The total on the left would be 12, and the total on the right would be 9. Since 12 is greater than 9, this hanger is not balanced. Problem number 2. Here is a balanced hanger diagram. Each triangle weighs 2.5 pounds, each circle weighs 3 pounds, and x represents the weight of each square. Select all equations that represent the hanger. These four x's in the equation are represented on the left side of the hanger. The 11 in the equation is represented by two triangles and two circles. 2.5 plus 2.5 is 5, 3 plus 3 is 6, and 5 plus 6 is 11. The right side of the equal sign is represented by the right side of the hanger. On the right side of the equal sign, there's only one x, but the hanger has two x's, so I would say no. Equation A does not match the hanger. At first glance, equation B does not look like a match to the hanger because it only has two x's compared to the hanger's four x's. However, I suspect that it might be a match. The left side of the hanger has four x plus 11, and the right side of the hanger has two x plus 11.5. Now I need to see if the equation for the hanger can match equation B. I'm going to take the 4x and try to turn it into 2x by subtracting 2x from both sides. 2x minus 2x and 4x minus 2x. 2x minus 2x is 0. They cancel each other out. And 4x minus 2x equals 2x. Now the equation reads 2x plus 11 equals 11.5. Since equation B has 2x alone on the left side of the equal sign, I need to get rid of 11 from both sides of this equation. 2x plus 11 minus 11, and 11.5 minus 11. 11 minus 11 cancels each other out, so that's 0. We have the 2x by itself. And 11.5 minus 11 is 0 0.5. Now the equation reads 2x equals 0 0.5. And that does match the equation. So B is yes. The equation matches the hanger. Equation C. Here's the 4x. 
plus 5, plus 6. So far, so good. On the other side of the equal sign, we have the 2x. It matches the 2x on the right side of the hanger. Plus 2.5, that's the triangle. And now it says plus 6. But unfortunately, on the hanger, they have 9. So there's an extra 3 or an extra circle. So no, this equation does not match the hanger. Equation D. Here's two x's on the left that match the two x in the equation. However, we still have two more x's. If I cancel them out or remove them from the left side, in order to keep it balanced, I have to remove them from the right side. Here's 2.5 in this triangle, but we still have an extra triangle, so I need to remove that one from the left side. And in order to keep it balanced, I need to remove it from the right side. There are no more terms left on the left side of the equal sign for equation D. That means I'll have to cross out or remove the two red circles on the left side of the hanger. So now, in order to keep it balanced, I have to cross out two red circles from the right side of the hanger. You'll notice that the only value on the right side of the hanger is a red circle with a value of 3. And the term on the right side of the equal sign for the equation is 3. So yes, this equation matches the hanger. Equation E. Here's the 4x. And 2.5 plus 2.5, that's the two triangles on the left, plus 3 plus 3. Those are the two red circles on the left. Now we go to the right side of the equal sign. Here's 2x plus 2.5 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3. Yes, this equation matches the hanger. Problem number 3. What is the weight of a square if a triangle weighs 4 grams? Explain your reasoning. Each triangle weighs 4 grams, so we can label each triangle with a 4. If I remove one square from each side of the hanger, the hanger will still be in balance because I've removed the same amount from each side. The right side of the hanger has a value of 12, and the left side of the hanger has a value of 4 plus an unknown number equals 12 because the hanger's balanced. What number plus 4 equals 12? The square is worth 8. Problem number 4. Andre came up with the following puzzle. I am 3 years younger than my brother, and I am 2 years older than my sister. My mom's age is 1 less than 3 times my brother's age. When you add up all our ages, you get 87. What are our ages? A. Try to solve the puzzle. For now, I'm going to start it with this. My age, that represents Andre's age. My age plus 3, that represents Andre's brother's age. My age minus 2, that represents Andre's sister's age. And 3 times my age plus 3 minus 1 equals Andre's mom's age. The total of all these ages is 87. I'm going to substitute my age, or Andre's age, with an X. So X represents Andre's age. X plus 3 represents his brother's age. X minus 2 represents his sister's age. 3 times X plus 3 minus 1 represents Andre's mom's age. I can put all of these terms in order to create an equation that represents Andre's puzzle. This will help me solve for X, Andre's age. Once I know Andre's age, I can substitute the value for x with Andre's age. And that'll help me find out the age of his brother, his sister, and his mother. 3 times x is 3x, and 3 times 3 is 9. This will help me collect like terms. Let's collect all the x's. There's a total of 6 x's. Here's a look at the equation after collecting the x terms. Now let's collect the remaining like terms. 3 minus 2 is 1, 1 plus 9 is 10, and 10 minus 1 is 9. The equation now reads 6x plus 9 equals 87. To get the x by itself, let's subtract 9 from both sides. On the left side of the equal sign, we have 9 minus 9. On the right side of the equal sign, we have 87 minus 9. 9 minus 9 is 0, they cancel each other out, and 87 minus 9 is 78. So the equation reads 6x equals 78. 
To get the x by itself, we need to divide both sides by 6. 6x six divided by 6 and 78 divided by 6. 6x six divided by 6 is 1x or x and 78 divided by 6 is 13. The value for x is 13 or Andre's age is 13. Now we can substitute the x with a 13. So Andre's age is 13. Andre's brother's age is 13 plus 3, or 16. Andre's sister's age is 13 minus 2, or 11. And Andre's mother's age is 3 times 13 plus 3 minus 1. Or 3 times 16, which is 48, minus 1. Andre's mother's age is 47. 13 plus 16 plus 11 plus 47 is 87. B. Jada writes this equation for the sum of the ages. Explain the meaning of the variable and each term of the equation. The x represents Andre's age. x plus 3 represents Andre's brother's age. x minus 2 represents Andre's sister's age. And finally, 3 times x plus 3 minus 1 represents Andre's mother's age. C. Write the equation with fewer terms. This will be the equation after we collected like terms. 6x plus 9 equals 87. D. Solve the puzzle if you haven't already. Andre's 13. Andre's brother's 16. Andre's sister's 11. And Andre's mother is 47. Problem number 5. These two lines are parallel. Write an equation for each. Let's start with the top line that I colored blue. The y-intercept for this line is at the origin, 0 on the y-axis. So the end of the equation will be plus 0. So the equation will be y equals an unknown number times x plus 0, because the 0 is the y-intercept. Now this unknown number is the slope, and the slope is rise over run. Let's figure out what the slope of this line is. The rise is 4, and the run is 5. So the slope is 4 fifths. Now the equation reads y equals 4 fifths x plus 0, which is the same thing as y equals 4 fifths x. Let's look at the other line. The y-intercept of the other line is located on the y-axis at negative 3.2. So the equation will read y equals an unknown number times x minus 3.2 because the y-intercept is minus 3.2 or negative 3.2. Let's find the slope of this line. The rise is 4 and the run is 5. So the slope is 4 fifths. The equation for this line reads y equals 4 fifths x minus 3.2. I knew ahead of time that these lines would have the same slope because these lines are parallel. Help me disrupt YouTube's algorithm by liking this video, commenting on this video, sharing this video, and subscribing to my channel. Thanks. I appreciate it.